and with every activity or most of it gone online, more people have had to make internet a place for work, meetings, leisure or entertainment. However, there is recently the threat of cyber crimes, cyberbullying and using the internet as a means of spreading fake news. And to counter such, we have Ian Wafula, a journalist and founder, Heal the Web, joining us from Nairobi to speak on the need to sanitize the internet space. Thank you so much for joining us, Ian. Thank you very much for having me. You started Heal the Web. Tell us what inspired that. Well, first of all, I am currently a journalist with the BBC, and over the last two years, I've been hosting a show called Fact Finder, which is a media literacy and fact-checking show. And so through most of my work, I discovered that uh, there's so much um, you know, fake news and people are not using the internet kind of in the right way. So I decided, other than just uh, telling stories, Maybe I should do a little more uh, and use my social media platforms and, and go a step further than just uh, telling stories to actually educate people on better internet use, which is how Heal the Web came up. Uh, this is back in February. And basically what we aim to do is to raise awareness about uh, the consequences of not using the internet well and devices that it comes with. So we look at things like fake news, cyberbullying, uh, misinformation, hate speech, um, as well as things like revenge pornography. So you do know that, of course, right now, most people are at home, and that means the only source of entertainment is, is online. In fact, one of the reports here in Kenya found that um, at least... Uh, you know, 28% of the people who are accessing the internet or going on social media are doing this to get information. And there's also been concern that most people are not able to tell what is true and what is false. This yeah. means that, you know, once you spend so much time online, you're not able to differentiate between what is true and what's false. And that leaves you vulnerable to fake news. Right. So what we've been doing is coming up with uh, content online and posting on our social media pages to just try and uh, educate people. So far, we've managed to reach at least 11,000 accounts, and we can tell this uh, by the number of people visiting, especially our Instagram page, which is most active. Uh, but then we plan to, um, to, to you know, reach more people I, by providing more I, content, so yeah. to say. I and fake news is definitely just is. not unique to uh, Kenya. This is a problem that I've seen across the continent. I'll yeah. give you an example. Uh, when the first cases were reported in East Africa for COVID-19, uh, sections of the coastal region in Tanzania and Kenya were taking hot uh, black tea to try and, uh, you know, they, in their perception, they knew that that is a cure or a prevention measure to catch COVID-19. And these were articles yeah. and posts that were circulating a, a all right, hold on. I, I, I want to know, and, before you go further, Ian, I yeah. want to know if it is possible to actually make the internet a safe space for individuals who have been bullied or trolled or, you know, for one reason or, or another. Or are you just trying to reduce um, it to its barest minimum? Do you think it's actually possible? We do know that this is a huge task, and I know that I cannot do this by myself. So my tactic uh, and what we, are, we tend to employ is we're trying to kind of uh, recruit as many people as possible on a concept we call the Blue Weber concept, whereby we try bring as many people uh, on board and teach them on internet safety use, after which they'll be certified Blue Webers. And by this, uh, we, you know this by, uh, we shall ca then customize their accounts uh, to have a special profile picture, or rather a blue mark within uh, their profile picture, which means they're kind of uh, heal the web verified, and then they become agents of peace as uh, online as well. Uh, for every account, or rather every person that we do reach out, we believe that through um, social media reach, those are five accounts that we've reached because it brings about curiosity. How comes your profile picture is blue? What does that mean? And therefore, I tell you, uh, you know, we hope that uh, people who we've brought on board are going to say that uh, this is uh, my account is a safe space. I'm a member of Heal the Web, and I'm just trying to make the internet a better place. Definitely, right. it's an up, uphill task. But I believe if we have more people enrolled and if we reach more people, then it's just like democracy. If you have everyone who is using uh, the internet for the better or preaching kind of peace online and a peaceful coexistence then we'll have fewer people than misusing the internet do you, do you have any support from the uh, social media apps and uh, th those who control those apps uh, uh, the twitter and the facebooks and the instagrams do you have any support from those um, 
um, organizations? So these are co these are conversations that are still going on. We are very we are very young initiative starting in February. So just like today, I was having conversation with Safaricom, who are kind of our main um, internet service provider. Just trying to bring on board as many people as I can, and then eventually, once we have also built our name, heal the web. And look, what I'm even doing with you right now is kind of creating the kind of awareness that we need. And once heal the web is a brand enough, then I'm sure even knocking on doors, talking to Facebook. Facebook and Instagram and the likes will get the necessary support. But what we are trying to tell people as of right now, since we don't have them on board, it's safer to educate people uh, to know that if you're doing something wrong online, uh, these apps, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, they all have guidelines against uh, internet devices like uh, cyberbullying and fake news. So if you see something that is kind of a red flag, then you actually uh, report that and the social media apps and networks will take uh, the necessary action. So it's it's a process and it's going right. to take time. This is something that, uh, you know, we're looking at doing for over the next 10 years or so. And we've just started, but I can assure you just from the kind of feedback we are getting right now, so many people are interested and are happy that, you know, at least there's someone out there who's trying to tell people on how to better use the internet, especially for progression and the, the kind of positivity we need. Also, another fact is that most of us spend on average about four hours, 30 minutes of our day just online. That means we're spending so much time online and the kind of content that we consume really matters. And that's what we're trying to say here. All right. Thank you so much. Um, uh, hopefully, you know, with the time that you have, we can actually make the internet a safer place for us all. Um, and uh, so all the best, um, Ian. Thanks for sharing with us. Thank you very much.